What is the crack lads and welcome back. So we're going to be doing another hidden gems video today. So I'm going to be trying this out as a new kind of, I don't know, a new kind of method of doing it. Uh, because a lot of people are asking me when I do a hidden gem, right? The hidden gem series are kind of all about finding somebody that is very close and tie, you know, links up stat for stat, play style, how he controls in game. I do a lot of reviewing on it. I usually do a lot of my testing and my reviewing uh, on my Xbox profile. So, you know, not that I care too much about results or whatever, but I just like to keep it clean. Um, like keep my profile kind of like just for, you know, PS5, I play uh, my dream team and I play all that stuff. And then the Xbox, I do a lot of testing and stuff. And I'm going to be bringing a very interesting Xbox video as well in the near future. So keep an eye on that. But with this video, I wanted to kind of do it that people have been asking me kind of alternative to players. So we are going to be starting with Roberto Carlos. Now I already did a Roberto Carlos at a budget hidden gem video, which is more about highlighting the player that I was going to be highlighting rather than Carlos and talking about players that link up exactly like Carlos. It's more about kind of like finding a hidden gem that's usually under 50,000 GP that you can kind of put into your starting squad or that you can bring in off the bench. And it's kind of just changing things up. If you're looking to play with the non kind of meta players, and you're just trying to switch things up. Or if you are looking to kind of build a squad for tournaments and stuff, if there's restrictions on your team strength, which I think they will eventually bring in, it's nice to have a nice kind of, you know, knowledge of the players in the database rather than just be always sticking to the same guys. Because even off the top of my head, I have like maybe five or six wingers that I know I'm going to be able to use. If Dembele is down this week, I can bring in this guy, this guy, or this guy. And then I have another couple of guys in the reserves that I know are very similar play styles, very similar um, weight, height, speed, dribbling stats, everything. So for this one, we are going to be taking a look at Roberto Carlos, right? Now, Roberto Carlos is probably my favorite left back in the game. We do have two really good alternatives to Carlos, and we also have two cheap options as well. So yeah, if this interests you, let me know what you guys think. We will still do the Hidden Gem series because they're quick, they're to the point, people get in and get out, and I know some people have bought some of the Hidden Gems and used them, and you know have been in the comments that it helped them out get a couple of victories and stuff. So I do appreciate all the feedback and stuff like that. I do do a lot of research on the players and test them out and kind of look at their stats and you know try them out so it is it is a lot of work that goes into it for short videos but for this it's more of a long-term kind of analysis of the players that if you are looking to take your team from the next level up to you know say you're a mid-tier team you want to go to a superstar tier team or you're a low tier team you want to go mid-tier um these are kind of players for all budgets right so we are going to start with carlos as i said as the main guy if you're looking for an alternative to him all right, so first up, we do have our cheapest alternative. Now, if you guys have already seen my hidden gem video uh, comparing Carlos, the cheap Carlos, as I call him, Pedrosa plays for Espanyol in La Liga. He's 23 years of age. He's only 18,000 GP. He's an incredible player, lads. I actually have him on my Xbox account, and I have some really cool clips of him, like, bombing up the wings. He's a beautiful cross on him. He's a really good passer of the ball. You can see there that even the lofted pass is 75. He's got 90 speed, 89 acceleration, 85 stamina. You're getting a bargain, basement bargain budget buy here for Roberto Carlos, right? If you're spreading out the budget a little bit and you have about 50,000 GP, uh, this guy is also incredible. I think he's on loan, uh, regular loan. He's on loan from Spurs or he used to play with Spurs. Am I wrong there? Maybe I'm wrong. But he is on loan at the moment. But again, he's a really, really good player. You can see there that he links up and he just kind of compares really, really well to Roberto Carlos. We will get a graphic at the end as well, um, which is very, very nice and kind of ties everything in. But again, you've got that early cross, you've got pinpoint crossing, you've got fighting spirit and speeding bullet for his AI uh, playing styles and skills. And then you've got everything that you could possibly need. You've got your dribbling, you've got your defense, you've got your aggression, you've got your speed, acceleration, balance, stamina, and pass. Uh, with the lofted pass being the main one. The reason why I like the lofted passes, uh, which are left and right backs, is for switches. If you play out wide from left back over to right wing or vice versa, that's how I kind of play my formation and stuff. So um, that's just a personal preference. But yeah, moving on, we have Davies. So I think this is probably one of the best players in the game for 100,000 or 150,000 GP or less. Like he's probably the most bang for your buck. If you are still kind of conscious of overspending, I think Davies definitely, like, you can't go wrong with him, lads. I have him, right? I have a love-hate relationship with him. You've probably seen a good lot of clips with me using him. 
When I got up to Division 1 back with eFootball 2022, he was a big part of it, but he is prone to mistakes. He's prone to switch off because he doesn't have the best defensive stats, right? You have to pump in a lot of training points to actually get his defending up. You've seen there that we've got 12 in here. We've got 10 for passing, 7 for dribbling, 6 for dexterity, and 8 for lower body strength. You don't need to train up his speed too much because he already is naturally going to be able to have that speed there. Um, he's got a load of player skills we don't even need to focus too much on them but yeah he links up very very well and he like kind of like compares very well with Roberto Carlos and then last but not least we do have it's not Hernandez from Bayern Hernandez from Bayern is an exceptional player and the other guy as well from um, AC Milan is exceptional but I think Cancelo having played with Cancelo lads and having putting him into my squad after staying away from him for so long I did get him in a pack uh, the Man City pack I think it was and I never really played him but this guy is unbelievable I have the right back version of him he can play either it doesn't really make a difference he can play left or right back equally he's always on good form seemingly he seems to be always there thereabouts on an A or a B because obviously City win a lot of games but look at his stats man like he excels in practically everything that you need for your defense and you can always train it up a little bit more as well I never really focus too much on um the player's speed, if they have speed over, you know, 85, 86, you can pump in a couple of more into his, his defense there to get his defensive engagement and aggression up, depending on how you want to train him, right? So how he ties up and compares with Carlos is probably the most likely of them. If you're looking to be like more of a wing back, um, that's kind of attack based, Davies definitely matches up with Carlos, plus you're going to save yourself 300,000 GP. If you are a very attack-based player and you don't mind conceding one goal or two goals because you usually win 3-2 or, you know, 4-1 or something like that. Um, me, I'm more of a kind of a, a measured player. I would rather win 1-0 and control the game than win 4-3, you know what I mean? That's just my style of play. I like to keep it compact. So Cancelo has that defensive ability there, right? Now, when we actually go over to this screen, we're going to take a quick look at Carlos and we're going to take a quick look at how he compares and these players compare, right? So I don't have Davies on this one. I've left Davies off this strictly because if you want to make the decision, any information that I give on Cancelo here, you can just swap out Davies with it and you're going to save yourself 300,000. If you want an attack based, if you want to be a more attacking based player than Cancelo is the defender, if you, if you, if you will. So looking from left to right here, we've got Carlos obviously who's maxed out. Speed 90, that share between Cancelo and Pedroza with 90 each. Reglon is only got 89, but he's only one like below it, which is barely negligible. Acceleration, they're all pretty much even as well. Ball control, uh, they're all pretty much even. I don't mind, like five discrepancy stat points is not going to like, you know, kill you. Dribbling, they're split. Tight possession, again, Pedroza is the only one that has really bad tight possession there. 70, small bit of a worry. I would definitely recommend, you know, maybe boosting that up a tiny fraction if you want to talk instead of his acceleration. Um, you could get away with his speed and acceleration 88, 88, and then put the dribbling and tight possession up to maybe 73, 74, and dribbling 84, um, and the ball control will come up then as well. Lofted pass, obviously, Cancelo excels there, and the stamina he excels. Um, but apart from that, lads, every every single stat is is practically compa comparable to the other player. It just depends on what budget. Obviously, Cancelo is going to outperform, you know, the other guys on this list, and that just goes without saying because you're, you're you know what I mean. You're literally like spending what like fifty times more, um, nearly fifty times more, like forty times more from Pedroza to Cancelo. Right? Davies is a good alternative if you are a bit strapped for cash and you want a massive upgrade at left back if you don't have him yet. Nuno Mendes is also a bit of a cheaper option. But I think these guys are very interesting if you guys want to check them out. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon with another video. I hope these videos help you, especially if you're a newcomer to the game. If you've got any questions or anything that you're thinking of, of any other videos you'd like me to do, let me know what the crack is and uh, get a couple of suggestions going in the comments below. All right, lads. Good luck. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.